Okay, let's do this again. I just screwed up the audio on the last one. I just interviewed MIT graduate MD Dr. Andrew Kaufman on this COVID disease outbreak. So listen to this. It's only a minute or two, but I want you to hear what I asked him right off the bat. Right off the bat. Forget, right off the bat. I've been telling people that according to peer-reviewed paperwork from the medical community that go back all the way to Louis Pasteur, I believe, a virus has never actually been proven to kill anyone. Is that correct in your medical opinion? Well, I, I would take that a step further. Uh, a virus has never been proven to exist that causes disease. So if it doesn't exist, it certainly cannot kill anyone. Okay, now there's that. I already knew that, but I just wanted to have you reiterate it as simply as possible. The second one is, if everything you just said and everything the scientific com and medical community know is true, then how could this thing be transported through the air? Well, well, I don't believe that it can be. Because, and um, I mean, dude, have you seen how the social distancing is? I've got people that are, their work will fire them if they are more than six feet close to each other. They have to maintain six feet apart. This is insanity on steroids. Yes, absolutely. And uh, there's uh, people going uh, beyond that, having uh, checkpoints and monitoring uh, people's vital signs and all kinds of stuff. I mean, okay, so there's that. That is from an MIT-educated MD, a doctor, okay? And then this comes out in Bloomberg that 99% of those who died from virus had other illnesses because the other day it was only a couple of people died and then magically it increased to 6,000, which is just ludicrous, but this is what they're doing, okay? Now, not only is there that, but there's this. Again, gov.uk, according to the United Kingdom's government, as of the 19th of March 2020, COVID-19 is no longer considered a high-consequence infectious disease in the UK. So I find that strange that they're all coming around saying, yeah, it wasn't actually hitting us that hard. Yeah, we just downgraded officially in our medical paperwork in the UK. And then yet, the same dude that sent me this today who works, this is his office, delivered by Defense Finance and Accounting Services. It says the U.S. Army is reaching out to gauge interest. Basically, the Army wants people that were retired, non-commissioned soldiers, people that have been kicking doors down door-to-door -door in Iraq for the last 13 years, etc. They want to see if you're interested to come help with the corona pandemic outbreak that's happening in the United States. Even though, out of all the people I've talked to and met, nobody knows anyone that's died of this for real. Lots of people have claims and shit, but it's all coming out to be complete and total bullshit. Well, this same person just sent me video of this from California. And this is in California, and this is headed northeast, okay? Now, if you know anything about the military, you can see these trucks. These are for crowd suppression. These are to move troops. These aren't helpful trucks. Of course, there's a couple with red crosses on them, but do you see what your government's getting ready to do? I find it strange that the epicenter in Wuhan is suddenly getting back to normal. The UK has downgraded the COVID virus to not a problem anymore. Italy's going, yeah, maybe we lied. We picked up a bunch of people from hospices and from old age homes and claimed it was COVID because we were told to by a higher power, just like I, the other doctor in the radio show explained. But in America, they've got a job to do. They've already consolidated power. They've already crushed all small businesses. They've already destroyed the dollar. They've already told you the digital dollar is coming, but now comes the forced vaccine. And that's what these troops and all these vehicles are going to be used for. By April 1st, this will be in full effect. You mark my words. Do not take the test. Do not take the vaccine. I love Dr. Kaufman. He's great, but I don't think he has the same grounding in the word of God that the rest of us do. I'm not sure, but I don't want to detox from taking that Bill Gates ID 2020 biometric mark of the beast can't buy or sell vaccine, and you should not either. They have completely and totally tricked 
ripped off, robbed, instilled the New World Order. And this all comes with taking away weapons because those laws are in full effect and going through right now. And also 5G has been passed by Donald Trump in the midst of this national worldwide pandemic. Donald Trump found time to pass this legislation. So what do you think it is they're doing? I'll tell you what. You do not have to have anybody test you for something that is complete and total bullshit. And you do not have anyone. No one has the right to stick a needle in your arm. Ever. This is getting super unbelievably real. While everything looks fine outside. Everyone just stay in your house. Watch your propaganda machines while the rest of the world downgrades and kind of goes back to normal somewhat, except maybe for Ireland. The United States is rolling in the troops. You see what's coming? Because I do. Do not tell me you have not been warned. I am out.